Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Well, we did it. This is the conclusion video for my work history series. So we're back in the West Parlor today to wrap things up. The last video was part 15 um, of my work history series. But there was also an introductory video as well as this, which is the conclusion video. So 17 videos all told. It's been a long road and it took a couple of months to make all these videos and get them edited down and whatnot. It's been quite the marathon. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making them. It's been an, an amazing trip. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been an amazing trip down memory lane. And uh, I'm glad I did it. Although when I was in the, the middle of it, I was like, is there any end in sight? <laughs> Special thank you once again to John Matches 860. His My Work History video series that he made six or seven years back. Really inspired this. And once again, in honor of John, I'm smoking my Savinelli Romalusite 673 with some Haunted Bookshop. So we talked in my last video about the very last employment position that I had before I went full-time with the Pipe Nook. But during my last position, as well as the position I held before that, um, I was growing the pipe nook alongside that, both of those last two positions. So even though I started working full time with the pipe nook uh, in 2021, I had started it back in 2016, so we're at about the eight year mark now as I'm recording this video. I worked it part time and then almost full time and now full time during those eight years. The first five years were part time ish. Pipe Nook <clears throat> has also had its ups and downs. That first five years, you know, started very small in the first year. The second year was a little better, but I did see growth and sales increase for those very those first five years of business until I felt like it was the right time to to leave uh, a full time employment position and work solely on the pipe nook. However, that first year that I left in 20, the tail end of 2021, I had a pretty big setback. I had issues with um, payment processing, as many of you will recall from that time. So I went through three payment processors that canceled my account. Square, Stripe, and PayPal. All three canceled my uh, payment processing accounts. 
so I had to go with a high risk payment processor that's a whole that's its own thing I don't want to really get into all that but that's now behind us but uh, thankfully but I lost a lot of ground during that first year of full-time pipe nooking and uh, things have turned around over the last couple of years but I'm still trying to gain that ground back that I had lost during that time frame and I guess a bit of trust in the in the marketplace trying to gain that back and hopefully push the pipe nook to better than it was before. But I love working from home and having my schedule uh, freedom that allows me to take the kids to doctor's appointments and pick them, pick them up early from school or take them to extracurricular extracurricular meetings hang out with our rescue dog more than I would be able to and more um, I've got a regular weekly schedule um, but there is a good bit of flexibility to that but it was a long road to get here But I love running the pipe nook, and that's largely because of you guys. Um, the YTPC and many other customers that have found me on the interwebs. Truly, I have the best customers that a small business owner could ask for. I mean, that's... I'm not just literally blowing smoke or figuratively blowing smoke. That is absolutely true. Pipe smokers are a different breed. They're just more patient, more understanding. There are rare, rarely there are problems with orders, but sometimes there are, and my customers are the best when it comes to that. I talk to other business owners in other industries and they are absolutely jealous of uh, you know what few problems I have to report when it comes to customer service. You guys are above and beyond um, and I thank you for that. So I wanted to talk about some takeaways um, from many of the other jobs that I held over the past 30 years that have added value to the pipe nook or to me being able to run the pipe nook. This is an interesting perspective, I think, um, on the other side of this. But um, this will be, serve kind of as a summary, uh, once again, of my work history, as well as just showing you some points along the way that have helped me get here. Um, first up, and I've got some notes here I need to refer to, but my English degree back when I was in college, I got a, a, a Bachelor of Arts in English. That helped me refine my writing and helped me to write clean copy um, for the website, for product descriptions and brand descriptions. Usually, I, I do my best. I got a minor in college in communication arts. 
and those classes that I chose to took to take helped me with marketing ideas for the pipe nook certainly working the parts counter at Gulf Ice Systems way back in the day as a teenager showed me that I enjoy fulfilling and packaging orders that was a big step towards the pipe nook that's a good bit of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and if I didn't enjoy that uh, it wouldn't be fun <laughs> And then being a package handler for my short time at FedEx showed me the importance of packaging uh, packages well, which many customers um, have told me they appreciate that. Working with John, the owner of a small business, a small carpet cleaning company, gave me some insight to the struggles of a small business owner and what it meant to stand behind your product or service so I wasn't blindsided by the requirements there or the, the hidden stresses of running a small business and he taught me that integrity goes a long way um, to long-term success of a business My time in real estate um, did help me learn about salesmanship, even though I'm still not very good at it. <laughs> and I still don't lead with salesmanship. <clears throat> the Pipe Nook is primarily about customer service and customer education. But I did learn a, a bit in my real estate years about sales. My short-lived time in teaching um, did show me a bit about how to teach things verbally, which helps me in making these videos. Working my two or three IT positions gave me a leg up, gave me a handle on technology, which is certainly important in building and maintaining a, a, a e-commerce website. There are a lot of moving parts when it comes to an e-commerce site. And my IT background did certainly help, uh, help me get a grip on those things. My time at Blues Angel Music helped me better understand the importance of product write-ups and uh, specifications and accuracy, online sales. My time at Graphic Packaging as a proofreader taught me the importance of accuracy and like further just nailed that down. Accuracy is important when it comes to writing things up. And then beyond that, getting laid off from corporate positions twice um, that taught me that working for someone else is never as safe as you might expect or want to believe. And kind of gave me the courage to start um, a side business that would eventually turn into a full-time business. And working all these other corporate roles in different industries with the meetings and the corporate dress codes and everything that comes along with that taught me that I'd never be fully happy um, working for someone else as I would be working for myself no matter 
how long or hard of a road it would be to get there. Some people thrive in that work environment, and some people just don't, and, and that was me. So even though the pipe nook is not the best um, paying role that I've ever had in my life, pretty far from it, actually, <laughs> it's definitely been the most rewarding. And uh, it's been an interesting journey. And I've been with the Pipe Nook now for eight years, which is longer than any other job I've ever held in the workforce. Uh, with no end in sight, hopefully, um, I would love to work the Pipe Nook until I retire. I would love to hit, we're at eight years now, I would love to hit at least 20 years in business. Twelve more years would put me at, I'm about to turn 50 in January of 2025. So 12 more years would put me at 62. And the 20th anniversary of the Pipe Nook, I would love for that to, to happen. Possibly even 25 years. That would put me at 67. I don't know that I want to work until 67 full time without, you know, before retiring. But who knows, you guys. I would love to at least hit the 20 year anniversary of the Pipe Nook. But that is, uh, you know, 12, 15 years from now, I'm sure that time is just going to feel like it flew by. But right now, that's well off in the distance. But me sitting down and writing these notes and figuring out what these different... Um, positions I've held through these last 30 years, what they taught me and how they helped to grow the pipe nook eventually it was pretty eye-opening. Um, you don't always see God's plan or how things will work out in the long term. Hindsight's 2020, and uh, it's amazing to see how my work history journey basically led me to the pipe nook. So, here we are, running the pipe nook full time at eight years of business, and I hope to keep it going into the foreseeable future. The YTPC has been a big part of that. And again, I can't thank you enough. I have many, many repeat customers that have found out about me through the YTPC. People who were, um, you know, YTPC members way back in the day before the Pipe Nook was even in existence. Back when my YouTube channel was called Haunted Tank 75. And you guys have stuck with me all through that time. Many of you have found me along the way in addition to that. But I'm just super thankful to all my customers, to all my subscribers here on the YouTube channel. If you guys are ever in the market for a pipe or accessories, you look to the Pipe Nook first, many of you, to see if that's something I carry. Uh, and if I do, you try to buy it from me. And that's much, much appreciated. I hope that continues, you guys. So we, we can grow this into uh, 
a slightly better version of the, the little pipe shop that could. Well, after this conclusion video, um, there will be other videos in the future, of course, and uh, we'll be back to our uh, somewhat regularly scheduled programming. We talk more about pipes and tobacco. <laughs> I may make another video series or two about other things, um, but my viewership uh, is definitely has been down on these videos. Those of you who appreciate them have given quite a few positive comments, but many people didn't really care to stick through this long of a video series that wasn't about pipe smoking, and I get it. But thanks to those of you who have stuck around till the end. You can go back and watch the playlist if you've missed any videos. There's a playlist up on the channel called My Work History. And for now, we'll leave it at that. Thanks again. Glad you got to see me, and we'll chat with you later.